As March comes to a close, so does National Reading Month, a time when we encourage young people to read more, keep them engaged, and make reading fun. And there's a local bookshop to help keep the reading go far beyond just March. And we want to welcome Jennifer Kendall from Coriander's Children's Bookshop in Gross Point. Thank you for joining us on the last day of Reading Month. Thank you for having us. We're so excited to be here. And this has been a great month to encourage literacy in all children. That's right, that's right. So let's start with this. Tell us more about Coriander's Children's Bookshop. You're a bit of a hidden gem, or you were to me. I stumbled upon you while you know taking a stroll on Kerchival. And um, just tell us more about the bookshop. Sure, we opened September 28th this fall and opened the doors to lots of smiling faces, people very happy to have a children's bookshop in Gross Point and in Southeast Michigan. Um, it's really been a wonderful opening. We offer books from birth through really a young adult adult. We have a great young adult section upstairs and children have an opportunity to shop lots of different authors. We also have a wonderful cafe in the back of our store, which offers coffee, sweet treats, ice cream, and a beautiful garden that we can't wait to reopen this uh, spring when the weather gets warm. Oh, it's gonna be lovely. So let me ask you this. How would you suggest that we keep the momentum of Reading Month going and keep kids reading year round? I love um, Reading Month is a wonderful time of the year. Independent bookstores celebrate in April. We have our Independent Bookstore Day. And our goal is to always have reading in the front of the minds of parents, grandparents, to help uh, them encourage children to read. So we will be offering different activities, starting with story time, which will start soon here at the store. We'll be partnering with schools to encourage their summer reading activities and lists and um, really just try and keep books in front of children at all points of the year because reading is so important. Um, it's why we were so excited to have this bookstore be part of our community so that we can encourage reading and we've had lots of smiling faces of children uh, come into the store and be really excited to walk out with something special that they picked. Yeah, definitely. So what was the inspiration for the bookshop? Because I mean, we all remember either going to a library or going to our favorite bookstore and you just don't see that many as, as frequently. So what was your inspiration? You're right. Um, so it was a family um, vision and uh, my family was always in the dream of having a children's bookshop and it came to life and I was excited to be asked to be part of the um, project and to help bring books into the bookstore and manage um, a wonderful group of um, employees. We have a great book selling team. So the vision was just to bring books to life for kids and for adults and um, the name Coriander's comes from the never ending story. Carl Coriander was the bookshop owner and um, just was a family favorite of a um, book that was read through the years. And so that was the name, of the, given the name of the store. All right, well, I can already tell your bookshop is gonna be like seared in the memories of so many children. <laughs> and they're gonna be talking about it when they're in their 20s and 30s and 40s. So this is just very exciting. So now where are you located and how can people learn more about Coriander's? Sure, we are in Gross Point Park on Kirchival, 15118 Kirchival in the park. We are also on Instagram at Coriander's Bookshop. Great way to follow us. We post daily. And we also have a website, www.coriander'schildrensbookshop.com, where you can purchase books, but it will also be a great place to find out more about story time. Yeah, story time and other events that you guys offer. So, Jen, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. We hope to see everyone soon. It's our pleasure. And happy reading month, even though this is the last day. <laughs> Absolutely. And we'll keep it going through the year. So, That's thank right. you. Thank you.